Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here. Uh, gonna bring you a little look at some solar lights I picked up off Amazon. Um, they had these guys on sale. You get two. Um, two come per box. I got four total. I got two already mounted. You get two of these guys for $29.99 right now. 50% um, off. Um, I'll try to post a link down in the description for you guys so you can go on and get, get this deal. But um, if you ever watch my other video, I had these guys out there. These are 60 lumen. Um, and they were getting a little old. I mean, they've been out there a couple years. And a couple of them were dying. They weren't working as well as they could. So I wanted to replace them with something. Um, these actually will give you 800 lumens on high which that's a quite a step up especially for the price point um, you figure at Lowe's these were 20 bucks a piece for 60 lumen with the deal you're talking fifteen dollars a piece for an 800 lumen light um, they do have the adjustments so you can adjust this up and down and you can adjust these side to side um, it has a sensor on here to kick it on whenever there's motion and uh, we'll demonstrate that in a little bit and then you got your solar panel and you can flip that solar panel around I have it this way because the way the lights are going to be mounted um, the Sun is going to be on the back side of the light so I need them that way but you can flip these around to where if you're putting them on uh, like the uh, south side of a house you can flip this panel around to where it'll it'll collect the light but um, yeah for the money I mean I just couldn't beat these they do give you mounting hardware you do get a little instruction manual and it goes through uh, the different modes that they have of course uh, we can look real quick here mode mode one let's see if we can mode one it'll automatically detect change in light and turn it on so that it'll be on power on your power save mode on brightness mode two is what I'm using when it gets dark they'll go turn on dim and then if something walks by the light or something moves the sensor picks it up and they go on to high um, mode three it'll be off and then it'll turn on and when someone leaves in 20 seconds it goes back off and then Mode 4, it'll uh, automatically flash if someone does walk by. But yeah, Mode mode 2 is probably your most useful mode. Um, that way it'll save your battery. It'll be, on, it'll be on low. So you can see, I mean, you get reasonably decent, uh, reasonably decent light on low. Um, looks kind of like when a, a bright moon or something is out. And then <clears throat> when they kick on high, it lights the yard up pretty good and um, this is probably going to be a, a two-part video or I'll wait and post it after I can roll some footage in showing these lights on um, but if we can turn some lights off here let me kick some of these off a little bit get it, get it a little darker in here and uh, maybe I can kind of demonstrate a little bit as far as relative brightness, uh, let me turn this on and I'm going to try to to cover that. You, you can see kind of the brightness this light has. It's okay, it's like a little spotlight brightness. And then uh, I have this one here set to dim. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it out of the way. Cover this panel see if I can get it there it is on and that's set to dim you can kind of see there's some light there and when you uncover the panel of course when it senses light it goes back off this one is set on high so I'm gonna go ahead cover the panel and you can see the light I mean these things are just seriously bright I was surprised and then of course you uncover it and camera will readjust for the light now. Let me go and kick the lights back on.
But uh, I, I think for the money right now, with these on sale, um, with these guys on sale for a solar powered light, we'll kind of show the box here. You can pause and read if you like. For a, a solar powered light, it's not too bad of a deal. Um, if you're looking for some inexpensive lights to put like uh, in your backyard, if you want something like say on your driveway, maybe uh, you've had people messing with your cars and you need a couple lights on your driveway, these would probably work pretty well. Um, I just like to have the backyard lit up so I can see what's going on back there. And also, um, if we want to go out at night or something and maybe play some, you know, bocce ball or, or maybe some bean bag toss at night when it gets cooler, uh, we can have light. We'll have, be able to see what we're doing out there. And you don't have to hook it up. You're not wasting electricity because it's, it's solar. It's got a solar panel. And I mean, like you guys know, I love my solar. Um, I think per, for personal use, solar is a good way to go. I don't think for infrastructure, solar is going to work that well. Solar and wind for personal is great. For infrastructure, it's not reliable enough. But but for a person, you know, living off grid or something, it's a good way to go. So I just wanted to get a quick video out, show you these lights. Um, we're going to roll some footage in here just a minute. Uh, after it gets dark, I'll go back out and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when they're on dim with two lights. And then, uh, or well, no, actually, I'll mount these up. I'll go ahead and mount these up. We'll show you what it looks like on dim with uh, all four lights in the back. And then I'll walk out and kind of get them to kick on, uh, get the motion detector to work, and show you how bright it gets. So uh, just wait for that, and uh, we'll talk to you in just a second. One thing I'd also like to point out, um, just like this, was that half-inch pipe. This also has a half-inch hole in it. So if you want to go ahead and mount this on the same fitting that that was on, these will just screw right onto that half inch threaded pipe um, so you don't really need to use these brackets if you don't want to. Okay, we can see where I have these mounted up here. Um, I did have one mounted there when I had the small ones but I use these two for those lights. And then over here, go ahead and walk over here, you can see I have one mounted here and I moved one down a little closer so see if we can get a little better angle you can see we got two here so these will cover these will cover this side of the yard and those two cover back in this side of the yard so once it's dark we will come out here and uh, see how much coverage we actually are going to get Okay, it's uh, about 9 o'clock, so it's finally dark enough. And you can see these lights don't do too bad. This is uh, on low mode. And I mean, the, the, the video is not really going to pick up as, as good as it is. But this is what they look like on low. I'm going to walk out now, and it's going to turn them on. Let me walk over this way. See if that one will kick on. Yeah, that one's on now. Okay, now they're all on. They'll stay on for 20 seconds. And you can see now, it lights this backyard up. I mean, it does a real good job. Look at over there. It's like daylight. Now, these went off, but let me walk back out. Get these back on. Yeah, see? It lights this up pretty good. And like I said, after 20 seconds, see, they start going out if there's no motion so it conserves the battery overnight but yeah I would say for the money this is a pretty good deal um, so uh, like I always say uh, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch and go away y'all have an awesome night we'll talk to you later Tennessee Frank out of here